Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your over stacker again. Hope you guys are well and enjoying yourself. Um, thank you very much for watching this video on my stacking and collecting journey. Um, in this video, I just want to show you um, another unboxing and um, how I come to purchase this, really. Um, so, it was uh, New Year's Eve and I was um, drinking a little bit and uh, yeah, it turns out I went and placed this order for this coin and um, yeah, it wasn't meant to but uh, I was eyeing up this coin for a few weeks actually and didn't really place the order um, so it was on nine and in stock for a few weeks um, so, um, but on New Year's Eve after drinking a couple uh, of drinks and uh, with uh, everyone um, you know, <laughs> got got felt like a uh, you know ordering it for some reason, and um, it was egged on really. Um, well, not egged on, but like uh, yeah, got got a bit too happy, and then uh, got celebrative, and so I placed this order. So I'm just thinking whether this will be a, a drunken mistake or uh, what not in the future. So um, let's unbox it and um, I really like I've got pre these coins previously but in silver and so um, I really like them so this is what why I uh, eyed up this purchase for quite a while and so I uh, went ahead and purchased this on New Year's Eve uh, last year and so yeah it's a Seymour Panther quarter ounce gold proof and um, so I've been buying a bit, bit more than usual proof coins recently um, especially in gold and uh, so um, I thought I'd get this on New Year's Eve so it'll be the first time I'm having a look at this so let's have a look so <coughs> I've got the silver one here so really really nice coin really reflective as well Um kind of like that design yeah, so let's have a look see more panther probably seen this already um, booklet showing the history and then the designer somewhere let's have a look so yes this booklet is like really hard to turn the pages when they uh, got gloves on <laughs> but uh, the designer David Lawrence there designing the Tudor Beast. There's the Panther. So yeah, really looking forward to this. Uh, more designs of these Tudor Beasts, and I'm treating this collection or as a collecting, uh, so I don't keep bored, get bored of uh, precious metals and silver and gold, and so. Yeah, this is why I purchased this. So it comes in a nice, beautiful box again, uh, as the same with my other quarter proofs. Um, really reflected, reflective, and really nice box. Really nice, feels premium. Um, does have some finger marks there. My scruffy hair. <laughs> so let's have a look. First look. Okay, really nice. So the mintage on this is let's have a look. One thousand and ten, a limited edition presentation box of one thousand. So pretty low. Well, that's the max I'm willing to go anyway. Um, but uh, looking at this coin, let's have a look. Okay, really nice. Liking this design, the gold is looking a lot nicer than silver. I say, and the shine on it really nice, really nice coin. Don't see many marks or anything, but I'll have a look off camera. Um, but uh, yeah, really nice, really enjoying these uh, gold proofs. Let's see if that focuses a bit. Let's have a look at the silver and compare with the gold. So let's have a look. Obviously the silver is bigger. But I actually like the colour of the gold actually. Um, 
I think it's a bit more golden than the sovereigns that I've recently got and uh, um, platinum jubilee queen gold proof so really nice nice design queen looking good bit dusty or maybe I'm not quite sure really nice coin yeah so a um, bit of a story that when I went to order this um, whether it'd be a good drunk mistake in five years time or whatnot but um, yeah it looks like uh, I also signed up to the collection as well so um, who knows whether this will be a mistake um, it'd be expensive mistake for sure if it was a mistake um, but I thought the mintage was quite low, uh, 1000 mintage compared to the Queen Beast mintages when they first came out, or even the uh, Greyhound and uh, the Griffin, they are higher mintages than 1000, so I decided to go ahead and this to get this really, uh, look at that mintages and the collection piece, um, so be interesting to see the brilliant versions of these coins, um, but uh, got these silver and gold proofs now so um, really nice coins be interesting to see the bullion versions against all these so really nice now that I've got it still undecided whether to collect the gold proofs but a really nice coin I do like the shine and the colour and so I think I might be leaving this in my stack and collecting and continue to collect the others um, but really nice so what do you think of this one whether this was a mistake a drunken mistake at that um be good to <laughs> let me know your thoughts really um because it is still in stock actually on the raw mint site and so yeah um whether it be a drunken mistake or a happy drunken mistake it was definitely happy when placing the order <laughs> anyway but uh yeah it was a, <laughs> a drunken purchase so don't know if anyone else does that but uh shouldn't really do that really but uh did do some research beforehand but um yeah i was drunk when i purchased this and uh yeah i don't know whether <laughs> uh hopefully i won't be drunk again when purchasing more coins but uh <laughs> it was uh one of those days new year's eve celebrating and i thought i'd celebrate with purchasing one of these and so um yeah that's that was the reason why i purchased this and yeah was a really good purchase I, I, I think anyway um, and really nice coin um, so happy now that I got it in the stack but who knows it might be a mistake um, whether it would be or not wouldn't know until uh, five years time and so um, we'll see what happens but uh, yeah hopefully it isn't a mistake and uh the design is really good so i'm really liking it so that's that's a good thing in my eyes and the mintage is low uh well at 1000 or so um but uh yeah let me know what you think of this one uh whether you got any or you is, is worth getting these or you're collecting these to the beast um in my eyes they're really nice coins but uh yeah let me know what you think hope, and uh hope you stay safe and enjoy yourself and hope to see you in the next one Cheers. Bye.